Don't tell me what you don't want to do. Tell me what you want to do. I want to tell you a story. It's based on a film. When my daughter was a teenager, she brought this film to me and said, Dad, I think this is the kind of film you'd love to watch. And she was right, and there was so much in it. I've got to try and capture that in five minutes. And it's called, the film was called The Miracle of Kathy Miller. And Kathy Miller was a young teenage girl in America and the love of her life was running, running on the racetrack. And sadly one day she was actually running home from school and she got hit by a truck. And she was in hospital and she was in a coma. And the doctors were telling her parents that really there's no hope and were encouraging her to switch off the life support machine and this sort of thing. But mum was having none of it and mum just had a faith and a belief and a determination. And mum sat with Kathy day in, night, day, night, talking to her, constantly talking to her, constantly holding her hand, constantly being, being with her. Even though the, the medical people were saying, you know, you're torturing yourself. Even if she, she does recover from this, she'll never be herself. She, her brain won't be right, she wouldn't be able to function properly, all those kind of things. And meanwhile, back at home, there was Dad and, and Kathy's younger brother that Mum seemed to be neglecting, so it was causing tensions at home. They had a, a lot of pressure on them during all this, but Mum stuck it out. And eventually, Kathy opened her eyes. Again, the medics were quite negative about this and said, you know she has, but it's not necessarily for the better of this. But Mum just had a persistence, and there's a lesson in that alone, of course. But that isn't the lesson I want to, to look at uh, in this little session. Uh, as I watch this video further, uh, now Mum had to help her get back to normal. And, and Mum was working with her and helping her to walk and trying to help her to talk, and she, she couldn't get words out properly, and she couldn't speak properly. She, she limped, she hardly could walk. But Mum got her walking, and Mum got her talking, even though she was talking muffled and not very good. And, and she was going places and mum had an idea, there was a school reunion and, and uh, she got her to go to, to this school event with, with people she knew. But unfortunately uh, uh, on this event somebody, a young man asked her on the dance floor and she fell and it, it knocked her back. But mummy said, mum said, you know we're going to start again, let's keep going. And she did, even to the point that she now got Kathy going to school. It was some kind of special school that would cater for her needs. And Mum drove her to the school and in the car park, uh, Kathy started to have a tantrum. I don't want to go to school. And again, she couldn't talk properly at this point either, so she's saying it in, you know, with only half a mouth kind of thing. And Mum said, but you've got to go to school. And Kathy started banging on the top of the car and the roof of the car. I don't want to go to school. And Mum said, you've got to go to school. You've got to meet your friends again. I don't want to go to school. You make new friends. Yeah, I don't want to make new friends. But you need to pick up your education, Kathy. You've done so well. I don't want to be, pick up my education. And Mum was fraught with all of this. And Mum finally turned around and looked at eyeball to eyeball and said, Kathy, stop telling me what you don't want to do. Tell me what you want to do. And Kathy said, I want to run. And Mum took her home. Got her into a tracksuit and one thing or another, uh, a, a trainer's, took her to the running track, to the track, and she practiced running. The story goes on, uh, uh, Kathy practiced and practiced, and eventually actually ran a half marathon, if not something bigger, I can't remember. Obviously, it took her a long time, and the stewards were waiting for her to come, but it was such an achievement. And at the end, you know what it tells you, the little, the little sequel at the end, it tells you how, it went, how things went on uh, after the film had been made. It went on to say that Kathy made a full recovery. 
Now, a lot of that was to my down to mum's persistence. But you know what I really believe, and I encourage people to do this a lot, is when things aren't going right, when you're having things tough, don't mourn, don't complain, and don't be talking about what you don't want to do. Tell me what you want to do. Tell yourself what you want to do and get started. And inch by inch, anything's a cinch. You'll get there. Inch by inch, take the first step. But stop complaining if you are complaining. Don't complain. Don't be woeful about situations. These are difficult days. And, and sometimes we can feel that we're going nowhere. And where is it all going to end? Talk about what you want to do. Get started. Good luck.